Hello friends, so today we're going to discuss the problem A from the latest code forces round 671 problem name digit key. So I have seen that this is a like a game theory problem and like many of my members are feeling a little bit problematic in this question. But this is a very simple problem. If you understand you have clear concepts, then the problem is very simple. I'll tell you how to think about such type of question. So let's begin. So you are actually given that like two players are given this like playing a game like race and a maze. So in each th so they are playing T matches. Okay, of the digit game. So like they have a digit game and they will play T matches. A positive integer is generated. It consists of n digits and n is very large. So you cannot store like n is up to like it, it is having thousand digits. So it means that you have to store it in some string. You cannot store it some integer format. So this is the first thing you have to see. Then the digits of this integer is, is numerated between one till n. Okay. From the highest order to the lowest order. You don't have to carry about that. But the thing here is agents are playing in turn. So like raise and maze are playing this question. I'm sorry, raise and breach. Then in one turn, an agent can choose any unmarked digit and mark it. So like you have some sequence of digits, like you can choose some digit and mark it. Okay. I've taken this digit. Race can choose any digit on odd position. So like, as you can see, I am not deleting that position. If I'm deleting that position, the numbers will shift and the odd and even position will like get disturbed, but I'm just marking it out. So the number at the even position stays at the even position. I hope you understand. So which means that uh, like if I have some number, let's assume that I have some number. Uh, I have like five digit number. Like one, two, three, four, five. If the race changes first, he can only mark out some number which is at the odd position, which is like this, this and this. So let's assume I mark out this position. Race mark out this number. And then but not but cannot choose digit on the even position he can only choose on the odd position breach can choose digits on the even position cool so raise only marks odd position breach can only choose even position cool but now cannot choose the odd position like breach cannot choose odd position cool the match end when there is only one unmarked digit left if there is only one unmarked digit left then the match end and if the unmarked digit left which is singular digit is odd then raise when so race can only choose digits on the odd position and in the final the large digit which is remaining should be odd then only race will win else breach will win. So like they are actually marking out the digits in the given string such that race can only mark on the odd positions breach can only mark on the even position and the last digit which is remaining you have to see that if it is odd then race win if it's even breach like breach win that's the simplest question like the simplest explanation. Now for each match you have to tell that if both of the play both of the players are playing optimally who will win cool so first thing that okay let's assume i have the total length the total length of this string is equal to like even let's assume i'm just thinking about the question because the length can be even and can be odd and because I can the raise and breach can only move on the even position and odd positions. So I have to think about the length also. So race can only take care of these positions and also first chances of race. So let's assume that raise chances first. He will like he can take either this position or this position. He can mark either this or this. So let's assume he mark this. Then breach chances is so he can mark this. Then raise position is this. He can mark this and then only only one digit is left so raise will delete or mark all its digit if the length is even then raise will mark all its digit raise doesn't have any option in hand okay he have to delete all the digits Bec the last digit will be remaining will be in the maze hand or like the breach hand the breach can take over the last digit because whatever like raise do he can mark this first or this first whatever do whenever the last digit will be remaining only maze has some like the actually or not actually why i'm telling maze it's breach so like race have to delete or mark all its digit and only the last digit which is remaining is on the breach's hand now because breach wants that the last remaining digit is even then only he will win 
so what he'll do he will mark the digit in such a way such that the last digit remaining should be even because race cannot touch his territory he can only touch his territory on the odd side and he will delete all of them but rage or like actually uh, breach can do in such a manner such that he can delete in such an optimal way such that only the last even number is remaining i hope you understand or the even digit is remaining so how he can do that we have to check that we have to first count out on the odd positions how many even numbers are there and how many odd numbers are there like for the odd positions how many even and how many odd numbers are there and same for the even positions how many even numbers are there and for how many odd numbers are there for the even positions now if the total length is even then we know that breach will win or he will do the deciding time deciding factor if he do the deciding chance then he will do that he will win so if there is at least one even number in the even position he will not delete this he will keep on saving that number till the end and then he will delete that number in the end and like that, that, that number will remain in the last position and he will win but if there is no even number at the even positions then he had no other choice but in the end some odd number will remain and he will lose so i hope you are getting some idea and same if you have some odd length then the chance will come to the maze hand okay and then maze will do the deciding factor and in that thing he he will do such that the last number should be odd so we have to check that on the odd positions at least one number should be odd then only maze will win when the total length is odd so there are like some test cases you have to first find out how many even numbers are there on the even position and odd numbers are there on the odd positions and so on and then you have to check what is the length of it if its length is even then okay if its length is even like a uh, breach is doing the deciding factor if there is at least one even number on the even positions breach will win x else maze will win and vice versa so i have been uh, getting some sense of this question so let's move on to the code part now so code was also very simple let them put up the string this is actually race and this is actually breach breach even and breach odd then iterate over all the positions if this is a this is actually indexing from zero so the first position is odd so we are, what we are doing for the odd positions uh, we are we are checking that then if on the odd position this digit is even or odd if at the odd position this digit is even then this is raise even else raise odd else if you are on the even position then it is breach even or like breach odd so we are counting at the even positions whether they at this even position what are how many even numbers are there how many odd numbers are there and in the end we just have to check that okay if the length is zero or like it is even length then in the even length if like okay if breach has some even number then he will win else maze will win or if the length is odd then whether like the total number of odd numbers on the raise positions is greater than 0 then raise will win else maze will like breach will win so i hope you can get some sense how to solve this question and how to approach the problem if you still have any doubts please mention down thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye